Well, I bought this building pack originally to make a video on, but I kind of forgot about it. And as you can see in the background, it, it, in my opinion, it's quite forgettable. But right off the bat, I, I'll just give you my honest opinion. I don't think it's worth it. I do think this definitely falls under the category of, you know, scam com at their best. The reason I say that is when we look at other building packs that we were used to getting in the past, we got, you know, an actual building pack stuff that we could actually use and i figured i'd click on frontier and compare it because i actually i like the wood look but this looks polished whereas this looks like it's been sanded and prepared for primer and paint and they just never got around to that i don't know it just looks very minimalistic maybe that's a thing for some people but the first thing I want to talk about is these walls. Now, while they look beefy because, I mean, they look like they can take on a siege and, you know, that's the point of them, even how they showcase them in the video. But when we look at them, they only have 80,000 health, which is ironic because they release these two wall high, you know, for the reinforced. And this has 140,000, which a normal wall has 70,000. So they literally doubled it here. But in this situation where it's three walls high, it's only 80,000. I, I don't know who's working over there on this stuff, but uh, who did this versus who did that? Uh, not to mention, you could put anti-climb on these because they do act like foundations. They're basically the foundations, just as you can see, resized in an odd way. So, which means we should be able to have, you know, a curved foundation, but we don't have a curved foundation. All we have is a curved ceiling. I guess Funcom really has a thing against curved foundations. I don't know. So you'd have to literally fill this in with that. Now, aesthetically, this doesn't match up with the other foundations or ceilings, which I think is odd. And you can see the huge gap in between it. I just, you know, if you're using this for PVE purposes or, you know, aesthetics, you're just not getting that here. It just looks odd. It doesn't look like a lot of time and consideration was actually put into this. Also, the whole thing with the anti-climb, obviously, you know, it's just all going to go away. Now, this is your normal anti-climb. These are called fences, okay? The Asir also has fences, okay? These both are called fences. Now, when I climb this, I'm going to fall. This is your typical fence. Well, when I climb this one up here, am I going to fall? No. So these are decorative, I guess. And then, of course, you can walk on top of these as well. Another thing I wanted to touch on, if you're concerned with aesthetics and the looks of things, how foundations play out in this. As you can see, like I was talking about earlier with the curved foundations, look at that gap. Like why is there it's such a big gap? It doesn't look like they're actually connected. Also, when you're placing these, you do have to place them properly in order if if that those aesthetics matter to you, you know, you're trying to make something look nice. I figured I would point that out as well as you can see, you'd have to take the time to match them up and just make sure that when you're placing them it's just another step. Just thought I'd mention that. But the, <laughs> the gate, uh, it, it's a gate. Um, I don't know really what to say about this. We got some, you know, curved uh, walls here. You also have these walls to go with it. Like, to me personally, the whole set is just extremely bland and it's just kind of boring. It's just kind of sad that we have to pay a thousand Krom coins, which is about ten bucks for just, you know, a few building pieces. I, I like the old days where we could just buy a DLC and we actually got every little thing in it. We didn't even get a door with this. We get these, uh, these are purely cosmetic in my opinion. Like what's the point of these fences? They don't stop. And these walls only having 80,000, I mean, at least give it a hundred K, you know, match a foundation or maybe 120. I understand not trying to make things too strong, but then you still have these which have not been nerfed in any way and they're still 
140,000 health, which makes sense. They're a double wall, so they should have extra health, right? These should have extra health as well. So if you're curious about everything you're going to get, you're going to get a foundation. You're going to get a support frame, a wall, a ceiling, a fortified wall, a curved fortified wall, and then like a corner piece and an inverted curved wall. You're going to get a sear curved fence, just a normal fence, a couple stairs here, a gate frame, a gate, a curved ceiling, and then a curved wall. That's literally all you're getting out of this pack. And personally, to me, I do not think it's worth it for you. I spent my money, so you don't have to. I, I should do these videos more often. I don't buy a lot of stuff out of the bazaar unless it's a weapon related, maybe armor related, you know, uh, stuff like that. But I, I picked this up and I completely forgot about it. And in my opinion, it is forgettable unless they're going to add the possibility of painting your structures into the game. I, I just don't like this look. That is me personally, how I feel about it. I do consider this under the Scamcom meta right now because you're paying $10 for just these few pieces. And I mean, if you're using this for PVE purposes, I guess you could have some fun with this and do some unique things. But for PVP purposes, uh, save your money, you know, buy something else from the bazaar. Or just keep that money in your pocket and wait for a good deal because... For 10 bucks, we used to get, you know, you'd pay what? I think it was $15, $20 for a whole DLC back in the day. And you, you got a whole package, okay? You got everything you needed to build a nice base. You got your roof caps. You've got your doors. You've got your walls. You, you got everything you could want in here to build a nice looking base. Whereas this is very limited in that regard. And personally, it doesn't look like a lot of time and effort was put into it. The biggest thing to me is these these huge gaps. Like, why do these exist? They're foundations. They should be snapping together properly. Even when you have them lined up accordingly, you know, to match aesthetically, you still see these gaps all the way through. That's a little ridiculous. I don't know. To me personally, don't waste your money on this. If it's something you really want and, you know, there's something you really want to build with this and these pieces will help you do that go for it pvp wise i don't see any viability in this right now maybe they'll buff the health of these walls maybe they'll make those fences actually work as fences those are such odd fences uh i mean you got these uh support frames which i did mention which you can see them up there and you know you can it's funny it says you don't know how to create this piece very odd you can snap that in there you know, I guess, I mean, and then you'd have to put different kind of anti-climb, a different kind of fence on top of that just to get the benefit. But as you can see, most other building pieces on top of this are going to look kind of odd. So, you know, you do you at the end of the day. Uh, my suggestion, avoid this one. This one is definitely just junk. Uh, maybe wait for it to go on sale which uh, the sales never really seem to be that great in the bazaar um this is one of those things if you really want it go get it i spent my money like i said so you don't have to and these are just my opinions to maybe help your purchase and uh i want to say thank you for all the support on the videos related to the bazaar I noticed a lot of you appreciate it, and uh, I'll try to keep up with it. I don't buy a lot from the bazaar, but I will be buying, you know, building pieces, armor sets, and stuff like that that I'm interested in, and uh, probably showcase it on the channel. I'm only going to buy things that I think could, you know, uh, in turn relate to PvP mechanics of the game that I could maybe use to my advantage. And uh, I do love the building in the game, so I'm always excited when there's new building pieces, but... So far, the building pieces that we have been getting for sets and previous sets, and then even new ones like this. Oh, you know, let's, uh, I didn't even, I, I remembered this one. <clears throat> I remembered the Lost Dungeon. I didn't even bother making a video on this. I feel like if you just looked at the picture, you'd kind of know. I got it just to see what it was like. Uh... Uh, that's something else you can avoid unless you really want to make a weird 
dungeon. I I haven't even seen people really using this to seer stuff. I think I've seen one person on the servers I play on. And the dungeon stuff I haven't seen at all. So maybe on PvE people are using it. Maybe that's more up your alley so you could do some fun things with it. But personally, I think we should request more from Funcom. I think Funcom should be delivering more pieces for these building sets, especially for the amount of prom coins they want us to spend for them. But that's it. I rambled enough. Uh, if you enjoy the video, remember to like, leave a comment with your opinions. If there is something you would like me to review in the future, you feel free to let me know. But I'm out of here.